The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Bill O'Reilly in the At Your Beck and Call segment tonight. We asked the Beckmeister to watch the Trump interview and give us his thoughts. Okay, you watching the uh, Trump interview this week? Well, you weren't dismissive. I wasn't dismissive. Oh, yes, you were. I was not. Oh, you're crazy. I was. Oh, right. now you're on that bandwagon, too. But I just uh, dismissed you. <laughs> no, no, look, here's the thing. You were, I mean, you were, you were, you were very polite. But when he started going down a couple of things, come on, Bill, I watched it. You watched it. You saw it. He was like, oh. Okay. I do that with All everybody. Right. I no, do, I know. I do that with but, you. What? I do that with you. Come on. I'm, I'm, I'm used to it. I don't think Donald Trump is used well, to it. Well, that's he's, a, he's getting into the big time he's, now. He's got to he answer the questions. He is. I don't know exactly what. I don't know exactly what that strategy is that he's. Well, I'll tell you what it is. Yeah. It's get attention right off the jump. But that doesn't that doesn't help you. I could walk around without. No, I, I could walk wait. around the streets of New York without wearing pants, and I could get attention. Not you. Well, that's not going to help. Somebody else might. Not <laughs> yes. <you>. Um, <laughs> look, no, you're wrong. People are fed up. You know that. Yes. They're fed up. Mm-hmm. Okay. So here comes a populace says, you know what? I'm not going to take any crap from China. I'm not. I'm not going to let them do that. Now, even if you don't have A to B to C to, and it's my job to actually ask him. Mm-hmm. Okay, you know, you need to do that. Those guys are going to come back at you. Mm-hmm. But even if you don't have it all well thought out, you get a lot of attention that way. Yeah, but Donald Trump should have that all well thought out. I mean, Donald Trump. Look, here, here's a guy who I really respect. Um, here's a guy who gets things done in new york you want to you want to have somebody fix our country donald trump is a guy who could economically fix our country could you would you vote for him could you vote for him uh he's made me a little uncomfortable here recently because with just, what well the 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 whole um yeah hey let's just go i'll just pound china well you're not gonna go pound china i mean they hold all of our debt yeah you're just I gonna mean, pound if china if china said like, okay you're gonna put 25 percent on our goods right well we're gonna sell all your bonds correct but China um, kills himself doing that, too. That will, that, you yeah, know, yeah. so look, look, Trump is portraying himself. And I think this is accurate as an outsider. Number one, mm-hmm. as a, uh, a guy who's got the courage to, to correct. Problems, but, he, but, he's not, but look, there's there's something reasonable to, to you know, a, a reasonable conversation. If you don't believe that he has a birth certificate, you can say, I don't believe he has a birth certificate. But then he goes into, I don't believe he has a birth certificate. Then he releases one that's worse than Obama's. And then he comes back and he says, on your program. And he might be a Muslim, too. Like, well, he, well, he might have on. a religious component. Well, uh, what does that mean, Bill? I, I Listen, again, <laughs> I understand why he's doing that. He's getting a massive amount of attention quickly. He's capturing a certain segment need, look, of the American uh, voter. Again, I have respect for Donald Trump, uh, but that's the last thing the country needs is 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 a is a showboat you don't want me don't, as president of the united states I, I, I think i'm disagreeing with you here i think that trump is going to shake it up i think he may that's very good. well run and that's good that's good he's going to sh- look he's going to shake these people up he's going to challenge them republicans too because he's got to run against republicans oh, I, I, and I, they're going to have to be much better than they would be if he's not in the game right i i I would hope that um, we could get serious candidates who could shake things up by not saying provocative things, just by stating the truth of what's going on. Okay, but then you and I would be off the air. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.